It's been a long time, Louis. Aurora? Aurora, is that you? What are you doing here? The answer was inside that memory. Fragments of the Queen's body were locked inside of successors. Human sacrifices. And I... am one of them. The Queen? But she was put down years ago. Officially, yes. But there's more to that, as you probably know. Revenants are seemingly immortal creatures, locked in a cycle of death and rebirth. But, if you destroy a Revenant's heart, then their body dissolves, and they can never revive again. The Queen should have been no exception. An immortal among immortals, even when reduced to ash. The Queen's regeneration couldn't be stopped. So you locked her away? Yes. By carving her undying body into relics, and fusing those relics into the bodies of others. In doing so, the Queen's menace faded, and for a brief time there was peace. But we all knew the plan was desperate, and flawed. Even with the relics locked away, the Queen's desire to live on could not be suppressed. The relics soon began to corrode the bodies of the successors, causing them constant and terrible anguish. You have witnessed the end result. They are reduced to living as beasts, devoid of all reason, seeking only to act on their most basic instincts. Yet, it was your power that restored my sanity. You have the ability to accept the Queen's blood. What? Huh? You have the power to quell the relics at last. Please, I beg you, relieve them of their suffering. This gate leads to the crypts where the successors rest. To reach the others, you will need to find these gates. I believe you can open it now. I will remain here, as I always have, to watch over and protect the paths leading to the successors. And the blood bead flow. So... This really is the source. Yes, beyond the gate. There rests the one who sheds tears of blood. Take care of her, Louis. Her? What do you mean? successors join the ranks of the lost, then the seals will break. The relics will be released, and the queen will be reborn. Before that happens, 